Today I have for you a letter to John D. Johnson, which is written by Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln wrote this letter to his stepbrother John Daniel Johnson on January 2, 1851. This letter became important because of the nature of the words used by him. Even though the words used in the letter were harsh and strict, they were meant to do good to his brother. Some interesting facts about Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln served as the 16th President of the United States from 1861 to 1865. He was the tallest president at 6 feet 4 inches tall. He set up a national banking system while he was president. He also established the Department of Agriculture. He was known as a gifted storyteller and liked to tell jokes. Lincoln had dreamt that he would be assassinated. He was shot by John Wilkes Booth while attending a play at the Ford Theatre in Washington, D.C. He died the next day on April 15, 1865. He was the first president who had a full beard. He often stored things like letters and documents in his tall stove piped hat. Lincoln's brother, John wanted $80 from him in exchange of the land which he owned. Lincoln wrote back to his brother that, I don't think it best to comply to agree with the request, demand, manna, palan karna, palana karvam with now, as he had already given him money many times before. Abraham Lincoln felt that his brother was not lazy but an idler, good-for-nothing fellow, Alsi Vyakti, Pramadi Manasa who liked to work but did not work because he always thought that he would not get enough money from that work. According to Lincoln it was important to break this habit of his brother. Abraham Lincoln wanted his brother to work tooth and nail, with one's full energy, sabhi sansadhano ya urja ke saath, bada sansadhano athava sakti saathe for somebody who would give him best wages or for someone to whom he owed the debts. Lincoln promised his brother that he would give him same amount of money that he would earn for his work or for his indebtedness, the feeling of owing gratitude for a service or favor, Kajdari. If his brother would earn $10 a month for his work, then from Lincoln he would get $10 more, that would make total $20 for his work. So instead of giving his brother $80 which he asked Lincoln to furnish to provide be a source of uplabd karana apabu raju karavam in exchange of the land, he asked his brother's children to work on the land. Lincoln did not get angry with his brother and on the contrary, opposite of Vipreet Anyatha, Viparita proposed a fine deal to him. Lincoln truly wanted his brother to get into the habit of doing some work and earn an honest living. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more such videos and do not forget to like, share and comment on the video.